later. You might think about that flight. I might think about that yeah. now. Yep. <laughs> okay, Joseph is back now. I'm from Minnesota. Joseph's from Chicago. We can't yes. stop talking about the cold weather mm -hmm. that has hit back home. But here, yeah, it's but there, beautiful. Yeah, it sure is. Our <laughs> coldest day here, our coldest day here is like early spring to them, oh. you know. Man, it is cold. Yeah, we're talking there. like 60 below wind chill. Oh, it's just, it's just amazing, things yeah. I wouldn't even think about. I mean, the coldest day that we've had in Portland so far was an overnight temperature at 29 degrees. I mean... Yeah, yeah to them, that's springtime. That's springtime, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. They're going to be seeing those very, very cold temperatures there as keeping up with my family and friends. and. They're still going to try to get out and go to work, and I just don't think it's going to happen. Let's talk about what we have going on here in the Pacific Northwest. I want to start off with this camera coming out of the Dallas. 39 degrees, beautiful shot as it gets a little bit darker here, but it was a very nice sunset. Wonderful way to start off the new work week, right? We kicked that fog out of here. We weren't trapped and just confined to that fog in the valley today, so it just brought in some really nice weather. We had some breezy conditions at times, especially Western Gorge and into areas close to Portland, but... It should be out of here by Wednesday. We have at least one more day of that, so we'll put that in the headlines for our Tuesday. Next chance for rain is going to arrive on Thursday night and into Friday, so we have a couple days here where we should stay nice and dry. Gorge wind gusts right now about 30 to 25 miles per hour, depending on where you're at. We've seen it kick up at times here in Portland. We've also had a sustained wind speed about 15 to 20 miles per hour here in Portland for the last few hours, and. Um, you're going to hear it heading into tonight and early tomorrow morning. It might make things feel a bit chilly, too. So just, you know, dress a little warmer tomorrow morning. Get the kids ready for that as well. Here's the wind gust forecast because we're going to keep it in place for at least one more day for likely the majority of our Tuesday. It does start to slow down uh, possibly late Tuesday night into Wednesday. The rest of the state is going to be nice and calm as far as the wind goes. And by the time we get to about 6 p.m. on Wednesday, that wind should be down to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. High pressure off to the southwest. It's kept us generally dry. Some locations trying to pick up on a little bit of moisture, but not much for us. If you kind of look over towards the east there, you can see the snowfall right over uh, the Great Lakes. Well, they're going to have more of that. They picked up about 3 to 6 inches today. Following that is the cold air, and with that snow on the ground, it's going to act like a freezer for them. And boy, is it going to be very cold. For us, it's going to be nice and mild still for the next couple of days. Tuesday morning, we should see more sunshine. Not going to be dealing with uh, much cloud coverage tomorrow. We should see uh, a nice forecast. That goes for Wednesday, too. Thursday, we start to factor in a few more clouds. Here comes the rain late Thursday night, at least for the coast. Probably doesn't begin here in the valley till overnight Thursday into Friday morning, but Friday, mark it down. It should be a wet day. You're going to need your rain jacket. You're just going to want to probably stay inside if you can or just go out there and have a good day anyways. Saturday at 8 p.m., notice that we have a couple scattered showers, but overall, uh, it's just going to be very isolated. Ski report, well, no snow in the last 24 hours, but we should get more Friday night into Saturday and through the weekend. I think we'll probably pick up about 3 to 6 inches. Mm -hmm. Seven-day forecast, that's for the mountain, by the way. Uh, Seven-day forecast, 49 degrees on Thursday. Friday is that wet day. Temperatures at 48 degrees and through the weekend, mid to upper 40s. All right. Joseph, always good to have you. Yeah. yeah good to be here. Good to right. see you. Thanks, Joseph. We'll be right back.